Nangote Refinery seeks cut order to void petroleum impact. Licenses given to other firms by Nigerian government. Now to the news info. The Dangote Petroleum Refinery and Petrochemical FZE has taken a legal step to obtain a court order invalidating all licenses recently issued for the importation of petroleum products into Nigeria. The plaintiffs who approached the Federal High Court in Abuja in a suit marked FHC slash ABG slash CS slash 1324 slash 2024 is equally seeking damages of 100 billion naira against the Nigerian mainstream and downstream petroleum regulatory authority NMDPRA. Dangote Refinery accused the NMDPRA of issuing import license to the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited NMPCL, Matrix Petroleum Services Limited Matrix, and other for the purpose of importing petroleum products such as automotive gas oil AGO and jet fuel aviation turbine fuel into the country despite its production of AGO and jet AI that exceeded the current daily consumption of petroleum products in Nigeria. The company also listed the NMPCL, AYM, Shafa Holdings Limited, AA Rano Limited, T10 Petroleum Limited, 2015 Petroleum Limited, and Matrix Petroleum Services Limited as other defendants in the suit. In the suit filed for Dangote by a group of lawyers led by Ogu Onoja, San, the plaintiff is arguing, among others, that the license is issued to NMPCL and others violated the Petroleum Industry Act, PIA. The management of the Lagos-based refinery said that it is greatly distressed, adding that it is its investment risk being jeopardized unless the court intervenes and declares that NMZPRA is in violation of its statutory responsibility under the PIA for not encouraging local refineries but issuing licenses for importation of petroleum products. The firm's group manager of government and strategic relations, Ahmed Hashem, stated in the supporting affidavit that the support that the import licenses granted to other companies by NMDPRA for the importation of AGO and Jet AI are crippling the plaintiff's business, to which it has committed substantial financial resources in in billions of US dollars. Hashim stated that the plaintiff products are largely left unpatronized due to alleged actions of NMDPRA. He stated that NMDPRA has threatened to impose and demand a 0.5% levy on the plaintiff of wholesales and off-takers as well as another 0.5% levy on wholesales to the midstream and downstream gas infrastructure funds NDGIF via a letter dated June 10, 2024. Contrary to statutory provision that, limited, that limits the implementation of levies on transaction within free zones, Hashem added that the foundational purpose of establishing free zones is to foster competition, attract foreign investments, and create tax havens. He stated that there is an alleged grand conspiracy and concerted efforts by international oil companies and interests. Hashem added that the foundational purpose of establishing free zones is to foster competition, attack, attract foreign investments, and create tax havens. He stated that there is an alleged grand conspiracy and concerted effort by international oil companies and interests in conjunction with the defendants who are unhappy that Nigeria has an indigenous refinery ready to solve the lingering energy crisis and save the economy. The intervention of the Honorable Court has become necessary in order to stem the incessant violation of statutory provision by the first defendant in favor of other entities such as the second to seventh defendant. He was quoted by the Nigerian lawyer. Dangote wants the court to issue an order of injunction restraining the NMDPRA from further issuing and or renewing import licenses to the other defendants or other companies for the purpose of importing petroleum products. That means that if they stop these people from importing petroleum into the country, Dangote will be the only one that is giving us fuel. Just like we have only Dangote cement in the country. Hmm? Is that a monopoly? I don't know. I don't think that is okay. Because if everything becomes Dangote's own, at the end of the day, we will still have to buy the fuel at a higher price because it will be the only one that is supplying fuel for the whole country. That one is monopoly, I beg. I don't think that should work. 
Other reliefs partly sought by the plaintiff are as follows. It also wants the court to declare that NMDPRA is allegedly in violation of sections 317, subsection 8 and 9 of the Petroleum Industry Act by issuing licenses for importation of petroleum products. Other reliefs being sought include a declaration that by the provision of section 8, subsection 1 of the Nigerian Export Processing Zone Act, NEBSA, section 23H and 55, subsection 1 of the Companies Income Tax Act, CIT Act, Paragraph 6 of the second schedule of the CIT Act Regulation 50, 54, subsection 2 AI of the Dangote Industries Free Zone Regulation 2020 and the Finance Act, the plaintiff being an entity duly registered as a free zone enterprise is exempted from all federal, state and local government taxes, levies and other rates. Hey. Also, a declaration that it is against the NEVSAS Act, CIT Act, Finance Act and Lagote Industries Free Zone Regulation 2020, as well as legislative intent for the first defendant to impose or threaten to impose on the plaintiff on an additional financial obligation of a 0.5% levy meant for off-takers of petroleum products directly and an additional 0.5% wholesale levy in favor of the midstream downstream gas infrastructure fund, IMDGIF. I don't know, but because this sounds like monopoly to me. Like only you were want to be supplying fuel to the whole country so that at the end of the day, you you still increase it. Okay, Anasa says, where are those who said that Dangote is the solution to our four problems? Let's wait and see. Master strategies teaming up with master monopolies. The poor masses will surely pay with blood. Because it's is looking like that already. Mr. Fancy Pay said, it is planned by top cabals. Don't think he's alone in this monopoly step. Titus says, I don't encourage imports of refined oil. Let all local refineries start working so that monopoly can be tackled and subsequently prices of petroleum products will crash. But pending the time that all other local refineries will start working, let them still be importing you know, because only Dangote cannot be the only supplier of oil. Like, only him has the right to sell cement in the country and so everybody else has to buy for, um, cement from him where there are other people that can actually do it for lesser prices but he has a monopoly of that now he wants to have the monopoly of petrol ha, that will not work cool. and he says some nigeria saw this coming and warned the government uh -huh. gideon bassi says season two of the movie monopoly is the richest country in africa with the poorest citizen produced and directed by dangote it's medorian says sea level of greed Federal Republic of Dangote will not do well because they should not allow this to happen now. They should not even allow him to win this court case because only him cannot have monopoly of everything in this country. Only you, Dangote, richest man in, in Africa, and yet the citizens of Nigerians are suffering. I beg. My listeners, over to you. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Do not forget to like, to share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for listening. See you some other time. Bye.